A quick disclaimer. This piece was written before the French Grand Prix. Therefore, the performances in French Grand Prix were not taken into account while evaluating each of these drivers. As the title race continues this year and is heating up after each race between Max and Lewis, there is an even bigger battle going on slightly down the grid. After winning Baku, Sergio Perez shot off to number 3 in the driver's standings. But with so many races left and with so many drivers eyeing for the spot, who has the best chance of finishing third this year? Currently, there are five drivers who have a chance of finishing third by the end of the season. Let's go one by one with each driver and examine what their chances are. Number one, Sergio Perez. Currently in third, Checo has perhaps one of the best chances of ending the season in that position. He is in a car that is clearly capable of third. If Baku is anything to go by, he seems to now be in full grips with the car. If the form continues, we could soon have Checo as a regular in the podium and perhaps even beat Lewis a couple of times. Unless Red Bull starts facing technical issues in the second half of the season, the third place looks more than likely to be Checo's. Number 2. Lando Norris If anyone can stop Checo, it is this guy. Lando has been having an amazing 2021 season so far. It is arguable whether the McLaren itself is worthy of third in the championship, but it is clear that Lando is able to extract speed from that car like a magician. While his teammate is struggling with the car, Lando has been putting in back-to-back -back solid performances. I believe McLaren would improve with upgrades as the season progresses. If that happens, we might just see Lando up there. Number 3. Charles Leclerc Ferrari seems to be more or less the same level as McLaren this year. And that means Leclerc, who is currently 14 points behind Lando, could be breathing behind his neck very soon. Leclerc has had an unlucky race in Monaco where he couldn't start after putting the car on pole. Had he finished the race, he could have been much closer to Lando currently. But the season is long and we are not even halfway through yet. The stage is set for a lot of Lando Charles wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles. If McLaren's performance drops off later this year, Leclerc and Ferrari might be standing by to collect the pieces. Sainz for third is a bit of a long shot. He is clearly the dark horse in this group of racers. However, it is apparent by now that he is more dedicated to his role than anyone else in the grid. Ferrari said to the media that Sainz, when not at the circuit for the race weekend, is always at the factory in Maranello and he is hungry to learn and excel in his role as a Ferrari driver. And at some point, this dedication will start to pay off. He had a great two seasons at McLaren before moving to Ferrari. Baku was not a great performance by him, but it would be interesting to see how he gets back after a poor show at Baku. Last year, when Gasly won, we could see in the last laps how desperate he was to win the Grand Prix and how much it meant to him. He is hungry for success, and this year could be his if everything else outside his control goes in his favor. Number 5. Valtteri Bottas now, let's address the elephant in the room. Valtteri finished P2 last season. He is still in a Mercedes, a car he has experienced driving for at least half a decade. However, he has been subpar in terms of performances this year, to say the least. As Mercedes continues to struggle overall, Bottas in many ways have been their weakest link. But that does not mean he cannot bounce back. But if he wishes to, 
he needs to be back in form very very soon. He is currently sitting at the 6th place with 47 points, over 50 points behind his teammate and over 20 points behind Sergio Perez. And the later he gets back in form, the more the gap will be for him to recover. Two honorable mentions. Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel had a slower than usual start 2021 season. It is clear that he has still not managed to fully understand the way the McLaren car works or behaves. However, being the experienced driver he is, he could get back in form very quickly. And McLaren clearly has the pace to be the third best car in the grid. And even though the chances of this happening are quite less, a bit of Ricardo magic could ensure a good battle for the third position in the championship. Pia Gasly. Alfa Tori this year has a solid midfield car. They are, in my opinion, slightly below McLaren in performance, but above the likes of Aston Martin and Alpine. That means Gasly is always in the chance for points finish and also occasional podiums. However, the chances of him finishing third this season is very, very less. For that to happen, the likes of McLaren and Ferrari have to have disastrous second half of the season with plenty of DNFs and technical issues. So, there you have it. The five drivers plus two honorable mentions, any of whom could finish in the top three this year. But even though many of them are deserving of it, much of them may not have the car to get them there. My money is on Checo. I believe that spot is his to lose, but it would definitely not be an easy task. He would have to fight hard with Lando and Charles to get there. And that means some really great races for us from Lavan fans to witness this year. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.